Discover Atari. Atari! And discover how far you can go. There's a brand new video game that's really turning heads. Atari's Kangaroo. More family fun than a barrel of monkeys. Kangaroo is a great character game that appeals to people of all ages. The basic gameplay can be easily learned by children who are delighted by the appealing characters, the calliope sound effects, and the theme of the game. For players who want a real challenge, Kangaroo provides strategy options that will test the skill of the most sophisticated player. Kangaroo can be played alone or against another player. And if a player has one of the top ten scores, the information can be easily added to the high score table. A lighted front panel and vivid four-color graphics on the side panels of the standard upright cabinet will attract players to Kangaroo. The smaller European cabinet, which also features a 19-inch color raster monitor, has wood grain sides and optional panel decals. When you want a pouch full of profit, don't monkey around. Stick with the leader, Atari, and leap at the chance to have a kangaroo in your corner. Well, look, it's 2.30. It's just, just what I said, 2.30. It's at 2. I said 2.30. He just went out to pick up Golden Axe, that's right. Revenge of Darth Adder, is it? Or something like that? I don't know. Anyway, this is what you're here to see. And I have some statistics. Atari made in 82, 9,803 kangaroos. They sold brand new for $2,095. However, in February of 83, they were still sitting on a bunch of them. They dropped the price to $8.95. And then a month later, brand new in the box, they were $6.95. But they actually did make money. And Robert Burke, who runs the Pimble Expo, is buying this from me. Remember, we're taking it up to the Allentown show, the Big Pin Fest, in two weeks. I'll be doing a video there. So we got this thing all prettied up. I'm, it's really nice. Monitor glass is near perfect. The marquee, we had to do some weight touch-up. But that's real glass, too. They did a very nice job on the artwork package. Now, we took out the original black, and we put in the Distatron Blue. This is the original control panel overlay that was in great shape other than a couple of little cracks. So I thought we would leave it on because look at this cabinet. It's beautiful. Gorgeous side art. Steven had to do some touch up and I believe he repainted the white. Part of the white because it was damaged. There was Bondo work done. Yes, right here. This corner had to be replaced. It's almost undetectable unless you're a loony and get there with a microscope. Are you a loony? <laughs> Look at this side here. It's nice, isn't it? Now, I'll tell you what else we did. Frank, can you turn the light on? The game came into us with an almost new Vision Pro. So the monitor is running a gorgeous picture, zero burn, and somebody had apparently purchased that. We did put a new cap on the bottom, and the Atari power supply here has been rebuilt. This is an unusual one, uh, because you'll notice it uses the back part, and also part of the front part, just for the five volts, I think, Frank, right? Mm -hmm. the, the, is the amplifier on that board? No, the amplifier is not. Mm -hmm. The amplifier is here, so it doesn't use the amplifier. It's on the board, and there's a master volume here on this board, and the auxiliary bot, uh, volume controls over here. Now, this board is not an Atari board. It's made by the Sun Corporation. They're one of the largest in the world, aren't they, Frank? The largest in the world! I think they're bankrupt now, Frank. <coughs> Uh, but if you look at the board though, it says TVG on the chips. And I always thought, boy, that's sort of like 
bootleg label, but it's not. This is a Sun board and um, Sun Electronics. And the board was very good. Rarely did we have an error with that. I think the only mm. problems we did have was uh, Amplifier. It came out so nice. It doesn't ring up credits, Frank. Uh, when you have the game on free play, the credit button does not work. You just push the start button. Atari did not flash these buttons, so these are actually the same uh, push buttons that are in like a missile command that doesn't have an LED in it. That loads the game. No credits needed. But he can convert it back to coin up if he wants and then push the button. You can see if I'm really good at this, eh? See how great I am? I always like the fact that it uses a leaf switch joystick. And I always ring the bell. Creep. Creep. Look, I saved them, Frank. Mom. But you know, Frank, are you aware that there's an actual cabaret version of this machine? A cabaret, mm -hmm. can you believe it? I actually have one of my... You know, I am here. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. Here I am in the basement game room. And Terry is filming. And this is my Ireland kangaroo cabaret. Now, it's impossible to keep every top light. There is a fluorescent light up here that should be on, and it's not. But of course, that will be fixed sooner or later. It would be the one game. I mean, this light's on under back here, and that one's on here. Anyway, the cabaret looks a lot like it, but there's a different monitor glass because the marquee is included in the front plexiglass, and then your speaker panel's here really a nice little cabinet. Now, these lights do light, but I want to show you something. The Ireland machines use a screw-in, a screw-in light bulb, and I actually am completely out of them. It doesn't use the bayonet base 45, it uses screw-in. And I robbed them for another game. I have to order some, Terry. What do you think I should do? Should I order some? No. Anyway, look, there's a wood grain cabinet on this. This has no side art, guys. No side art. So the Ireland machines are wood green. But they play exactly the same. They still have the Sun Electronics logic board and all the other Atari increments. And of course it does have the famous um punch that creep getting in my way. I hate it when they do that, don't you? So it does play exactly the same way. Let's get that strawberry, and let's ring the bell, and let's punch this stupid guy. No, I didn't punch him. That stupid game. Anyway, we've got we to do a video of these. We've got a bunch of neat games in here. We've got a bunch of them. You know what? I'll bet the Targs are around, but no one has Spectres. A Spectre Cabaret. The only one I've ever seen. We unplug spiders because the attract mode was too loud. There's one you never seen, a radical radio radial cabaret. You never see one of them. Look right here. Quasar. Quasar. By Motorola. It has a black light tube in here that lights the inside shell. It's really neat. I had to sign on it because I had it up at a show. Anyway, missile command. Here's one you've never seen, Caterpillar, but I did do a video on it. It's low def, but I did do a video on Caterpillar. So there are not many of them out there. And of course, one of my favorite games, Route 16. Yeah, while I'm here, you know what the heck with it. You know what's so neat about this game? Not Route 66? No, it's Route 16. I know. Now, <laughs> oh gosh, I, I was looking at the top. You threw me off, Terry. Now, on the first screen, that, see, see the, uh, you have uh, 16 different possibilities, but it's all random. You only want to go in the ones 
that actually have stuff lit. Oh, it was worth money, Terry. <coughs> I'm in trouble now. Uh-oh, I got two cars right on my tail here, Terry. Uh-oh. No I cursing. That out. I blooped it out, Terry. I have the ability to bloop out anything I say that's bad. God, again! I thought it was worth big bucks. Look, now see what happens now? They all disappear and they turn into money bags. Gosh, Terry, I'm so rusty on this. Oh I'm my so gosh. Waste of my time. I know. I'm so rusty on it, Terry. I can't help it. Daddy can't do everything. But my wife expects me to do everything. The little woman is upstairs right now. Look, it's question mark. What do you think? That's worth money. Uh oh, I better avoid that gobbling thing. Looks like you. Look. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's oil. Again. Oil. Creepy thing changes. See, the money bags change. You just don't know when. Now, this is the gas pedal, but it's your fuel. So you can push this, this button down to speed and go faster. I only have the starting screen and this left. There's one. Now, look, I'll get this. Look, see what I picked up? Now I'm doing good, Terry. One left, Terry. Using up the gas, but I just want to get this and be done with it. I'm exhausted. After five now, tries. Now, the fluorescent light lights up the back. Now, unfortunately, this was all pitted. So what I had to do, now you notice everything has changed. So the stuff is in different places, in different increments. I want to hit this thing. How about that, Terry? There's a Pretty Terry. great? Nah. Fun, huh? Admit this is terrific. Terry. Oh, so much fun to watch. <laughs> well, we were here to see Kangaroo. That's what I'm saying. Come on, hurry up. up. What? I'm in a rush. Yes, I'm busy. I, I'm showing people kangaroo. And, well, in Route 16. And look, Super Mini. But I guess that's another video. Okay, okay. <laughs> we'll go back. I'm ready. Bye. <sighs> Thank you. Look, Steve in Canada is getting another game from us, Gorilla Wars. And it's done. He has been waiting a while. You know, we tried to buy new side art for this. The guy who makes it doesn't make it anymore. So we have a high gloss black sides for Steve. We have new green tea molding. We have grass uh, overlay here. I was able to find a marquee because the original marquee was broken. But this is the original logic board made by SNK and those wonderful rotary joysticks that work so well. We have obviously all new buttons. And in the back here, the Geo 7 monitor has all new parts, new flyback, uh, new horizontal width coil, a new uh, resistor in the vertical circuit, and Frank reworked the power supply, and we cleaned up all the wiring. So we have a new uh, power supply, obviously. Everything's neatly numbered, fused, and as a bonus for Steve, we have another working logic board, but no sound. But that's on the bottom of the machine. We're gonna ship that with the game. Here's the logic board working great. It came out pretty nice, all, all things considered. The control panel does swing down for service. Uh, this is actually a pretty darn good game. Kurt and I were playing it last night. I started up two players, which could have been a mistake finally. Because see now, you can pick up tanks and things as you play the game. Oh. Oh. 
picked up a man, we'll save our guy. I wasn't supposed to shoot him. <laughs> I got killed. Oh, look. Now I want to save this guy first. Then, oh, I was going to get in the tank. You get in the tank simply by pushing the button here. Now I'm in the tank. Nope. Not doing well, Frank. Keep forgetting. You have to keep thinking. Now I'm in. Instant in and instant out. Oh, I just lost everything, Frank. You get the idea. Pretty nice game, Frank. It really is. Hmm. Listen. I want to take you to Daddy Pops. I went there this morning before I came in today, and I'll show you the fun we had there. At Daddy Pops Diner, and look, uh, single pancake. I'm on a diet. But it's the last of Mark's maple syrup. I still have another. This is the dark one, and I had it heated. See, look. Uh -oh. Oh. That's how you put it. And from Winnico in the Netherlands, he sent me strawberry preserves that I'm going to put on top, rather than the usual butter. The little thing is so tiny, I figured I'd slather. I like that word. I like slathering. Anything, now what, Mike? Now, Michael, anything? Now what's Nothing. unique Nothing is, from Mike. What's unique is that Maggie, who's filming, brought me this morning scented lemon blue barb preserves, which is blueberry and rhubarb combined, and it's made locally. So this is gonna be for my toast. Isn't that nice? It looked nice and all but wasn't that nice of Maggie? And then she agreed to film. <laughs> and of course, Rice Krispies. Wasn't there, was there a pirate named Blue Barb? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> yes. The puns. Yes. If they were funny, I'd, I'd like that. I guess we should look at the newspaper, but let me get a quick bite. My arm's getting tired. Yes. Maggie's arm is getting tired. Here. Let me just put one mouthful in my mouth. There we are. Here we go. I've got cinnamon pancakes, maple, dark maple from Canada, and strawberry preserves from Holland, all at one time. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mark and Winnico. And Maggie, I'll film you later with yours. Well, it's time to see if the dump truck is still here. And Garth is filming now, and there it is. The Ford 83, and it's still at 7,300. And look, it runs good. But look down below, there's a UD 99, and this one says it runs great. Now, what would you rather have? The dump truck that runs good, or the UD truck that runs great? <laughs> oh. What do you think? I think you got to get a light. Oh, that's it for now.